Good morning, hope you're well. So after last night's conversation, we wanted to talk about the configuration of how everything works at the front of the van. I think the easiest thing is, so after you've driven, we mentioned how this is quite unique because it has the blinds that are all hidden away within the cavities. So it works really, really simple process. Just a clip on that side, reach over, clip on that side, and they just come across and they're together. Same with the side ones. It's again, it's a clip and they just come across and go into that spot. And the same with over here. Then it's a simple process of a quick flick. That one spins around. This one spins around. And there we have it. So we have that front area. And this is where it's quite interesting. There's a clip down on the side of the table, just down in here. Once you release that, this table has a lot of flexibility. Goes over that way, this way, any way you like to make it close or whatever. But as you can see here, now it's kind of in the middle. If you chose to, you could have all this area as a very, very comfortable sitting room. The other thing which I think was uh, crucial for telling you was the sky roof. So this one here has the two different screens. Again, they're all inlay in here to provide the proper block out. There's the first layer, which is the, the fly screen and the midgy screen. And there it is now with the total block out. You can see that's extra thick down there. So once you're in this sitting area, it's either the meals area or just sitting here for you can see quite a few people. Just stowed away here. I'm not sure if I had a photograph of that on the site. You just press that there and up comes one of the televisions. So that then just, you pull that down there and then that can come out and go with anywhere while you're down in this front area. I'll just pop that away there. The um, a couple of features in this front area as well is the amount of storage that this van has. Not only does it have the really big garage, which I'll take a few photos of uh, for you in just a few moments. You can see just down in here, everything's been built, <coughs> excuse me, like a, to a shipwright specification. These just lift up, pull out, and here we have storage which goes right the length of the van both ways. So. Plenty of storage there for a, a lazy bottle of red or two, your cans or whatever. We use that one for food storage. And this other one here, we um, get access to seeing all the utilities underneath the van. So your fresh water and then all your grey water storage in case you need to get at it from a different angle. And just, again, more storage here and more storage underneath the stairs. Also with those blinds that they're gone here, you can see the blinds over here, they're all inlay. So they provide absolute total block out and they can go at whatever distance you like. Click there, the screens go up and then the windows go out, which we said they're all double glazed and they go at different, about five or six different points as that goes out. But what I will show you, if we just pull that one up, and so, and this one up here, I'll turn the lights off and that'll give you, we do have the door open on the side. But if I turn those lights off, it'll give you an idea of the effectiveness of the block out. In fact, so as you can see, it's pretty effective. There's a light on in that bathroom. And while we're doing the lights, <coughs> it's really specific. I'll put one of them on here so you can actually see what I'm doing. So there is one of the forms of the light. There's that one there, we turn that off. The one behind you controls the bedroom light. If I switch that one off, then there's the full light. Switch that one off. And then the next one, if you just come down here, you can see this provides what's called the night light, which gives you the handrail in case you need to go out. And also that floor lighting of a night time so it's just a minimum light and all the all of the light switches which is totally unique to this particular van as we'll go around there is operated from 
four different spots. So if I go back up here, the, that controller there, you can control the lights as you come in. If you happen to be in the kitchen, <coughs> you can control the lights from that particular switch. And if you happen to be in the bedroom, there's another switch back up here. So you can be in bed and operate all the lights throughout the van. So that's quite unique and, and pretty clever, really. As we come back through the van, again, we can see here underneath us, more storage. And again, that goes the width of the van. And just to show you within the cabinetry within this van, it's of uh, pretty high spec. And so all the, all the cupboards are all soft touch. So they just, as you can see there, they'll click shut. It's the same with all the drawers. You just sort of give that a little touch there and they'll all self close. But as we come to the interesting thing, which uh, you spoke about yesterday was if someone's sitting in that front room <clears throat> and someone wants to go to bed or read down that way, the van shuts into two different areas. So what is at the moment the door for the bathroom? That one just shuts, opens that way and shuts. So then you have the two distinct areas within the van, which is absolutely fantastic. Again, you come back through here and it's back into the two rooms. But if you come this way, I'll show you just how this system works in relation to the bathroom. So what we do have in the van, of course, there's the shower on this side and I've already popped that light on in there and there's the, the toilet and the vanity in there. If you wanna sit on the toilet and have a little bit of privacy, you might sort of consider that this might be a little bit tight, but it's quite ingenious. You just uh, actually shut the door, open that up and it gets a wider space. And when you're finished, just simply push that, bang, and away you go. So absolutely ingenious. And the other, if someone is in the shower and they wanted a bit of privacy as well, you can just actually close this, this curtain and shut that one off. You can see back in here again, all the blinds come at whatever level you'd like. And then the fly screens come down and that meets up. And so no insects can come in. There's a second television there. And the only additional lights, which are only operated from here, which of course are just for your reading lights here. And again, all the cabinetry and all the cupboards, they just all soft shut, which is fantastic. So when we come back through the van, the only other thing I'd like to, to show you, I think I mentioned was the heating cooling system from uh, feet level, which is extraordinary. You can see there's a vent here, one there, there's another three the aft, another one there, so that again heats and cools the van right throughout. Um, I think that pretty much answered any of those questions that you had. The only thing I will show you now is the storage in the garage down below.